multiple choice. Okay, but could you matching put a number five. on it? Matching five. Um... Matching, good. Who wants to give me a number? By the way, guys, we are live on YouTube. I'm just going to go for 10, 15 minutes on YouTube um, and then we'll be stopping. Who can tell me the number? Sorry, I didn't I hear know that. Five. Someone said five before in the groups, but I don't think that's true. I can't even remember all the types. There's loads, Sophia, right? Maybe 14. Something <laughs> like that. 14, 15. I yeah. hid them. They're all here. All right, so I want to show them to you today. Short answer questions, sentence completion, summary note, table, flowchart completion, diagram completion, multiple choice. I've got this twice. Maybe there's two types. Matching information, matching features, matching headings, matching sentence endings. True, false, not given. Yes, no, not given. All right. So why am I showing you this big list? Anyone? Why do we need to know what question types there are? Anyone? Mm -hmm. Familiarize. And yeah. Be strategy. Because improving. Techniques. Yes, technique and strategy. Look, improving your reading is not easy. Okay. Um, one thing that will help you is vocabulary. And obviously, as all teachers say, you just read every day. Yes, that helps. But if you want to improve IELTS reading, it's not easy. What you need to do is practice all these different types and make sure that you have a strategy for each one. And I'm gonna show you today how you can do that. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do that, all right? So before we do that though, I've got the answer to my question here. How can you improve your reading for IELTS? I just told you the answer. Can anyone, can anyone help me finish these gap fill sentences here? What are the missing words? Learn each something for each something. I just talked about this. Learn each strategy. 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 Who has said strategy for each? Joyce. And someone, someone said question. Well done, Joyce. Uh, okay, so you've got to learn each strategy for each question. That's going to take some time because there's lots of them. All right. Step two, you need to... Practice the question. Practice the question. Practice the... Begins with S. Strategy. Strategy. Okay. Strategy. So um, I want to show you something, guys. I'm not going to be doing this all today. We don't have time to do it in one class. But this document, I will, I will give you guys this document. It's going to be on the website. Okay. So after this class... Go and download this document, please. Right? This is my reading tips and strategies document. It's a super document. For every question type, there is a strategy. All right? And there's also information. I've put, even put in extra information here. Sophia, could you read this to us? What does it mean? Incorrect order. So what does that mean? Mm, uh, this uh, particular type of uh, question will be in the order of the text. Yeah, so the questions are in the order, set in the same order as the text. Good, right? So if you guys want to review your reading, you can review this document. Okay, and if you see that in red saying in order of the text, that means the questions are in the same order as the text. We'll talk about that in future classes as well as to what that means. I'm not really focusing on that today, but I just wanted to point it out. Okay, so for each question type, you have a strategy. Okay, what do I mean by strategy? Can anyone tell me? Method. A method. Yeah. Anyone else? What does strategy mean? Why does it say one, two, three, four, five, six here? Anyone tell me? What we have to do first, second, third. Exactly. Step All by right? step. Step by step. That's what I mean by strategy, right? You don't have a lot of time. 
Now, if you had more time, you, you could probably just do the reading in any way. But because you have a small amount of time, you need to be able to um, use an efficient strategy quickly, right? And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. That's what we're doing today. So let me change the screen. You should now see my study document here. Okay. So we are, all we're going to do is we're going to practice two types of IELTS reading question. All right. Two types of IELTS reading question. Uh, and we're going to use the appropriate strategy. Okay. Which is here. Now, um, let's. I'm going to now going to show you the text for today. All right. First, just let's look at the text. So, here is the text we will study. Can everyone see this here? Yeah. Yes, yeah just say yes. 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 See. Okay. Fantastic. What's the topic of this? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that question to Ian. Ian, what are we talking about here? The innovation of grocery stores. Can you paraphrase that? What does that mean? Uh, the, I think it's about the enhancement of uh, how grocery stores. Mm. Okay, so you're thinking enhancement is a good synonym here for innovation. Yeah, I would say it's not bad to enhance. Uh, anything else, guys? What does innovation mean? The modernization of the general provisional stores. Organization? No. The, the what? Organization. Say that again. I, I can't hit, hit. It's cutting out a little bit. The more malignization. Modernization. Think... Is it? Modern. Modernization. Ah, right. We don't have a great uh, connection. So modernization. Definitely. Innovation. These are similar. They're not exactly the best synonym, though, for innovation. Anyone else want to try? Give me the, the best synonym for Transformation. Innovation. Transformation is not bad. I like that probably the best. Creation. It's, I'm going to put it here. Formation. We need a phrase. To innovate is to do... To find a, To find a new way to do something. Right? That is, I guess, efficient. Right? It's just finding a new way to do it. Um, so these are almost there. You're not too bad, but it's, it's this. So this is about grocery stores finding new ways to do things. All right. I just want to play a quick game before we start the test. All right. This is a warm up game. This is a game where you guys need to find me the words that I say quickly. OK, this is a scanning game. So, for example, if I say inefficient, can anyone tell me what paragraph the word inefficient is and what word comes before inefficient? Can you see it? There's just a game now before we start. First lady. Um, found that B, second line, first word. First, second line, Anna, first, first line. word. Inefficient here. B, B. 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 Ah, here we go. There we go. Good. You found it. So what's the word before inefficient? Very. Very. Okay. So this is my game. I'm going to say the word and you have to tell me the word before that word. Okay. Find me the word before. This is a good skill for reading, right? Find me this, the word before. Okay. I'll start off with an easy one. 20th century. Yeah, and someone's drawing on the screen. Yes. Very nice. Yes. The. No, it's the. Okay, and some. if you want to draw on the screen, that's great. Okay, find me the word before. Hmm. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Five, four, three, two, one. Answer is here. Great. OK, find me the word, please, before 19, oh, sorry, 1895. In? 
Yeah, good. That was an easy one. Good. Very fast. You have to do this fast in the reading, don't you? You have to be able to find words really fast. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Phenomena. Sorry. Yeah, someone got there. Who's that? Me. Nice. Unimaginable. Good. Fridges. Fridges. Large. Yeah, who said that? Fantastic. Very fast. Good. Um, A and P. A and P. Five, four, three, two, one. Here. S. Hey, S. Very nice. Time consuming. Time consuming. Very. Nice. Okay, good. Very. Uh, and we'll do one more. Uh, simultaneously. Shopping. Shopping. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to do it, make it a bit more hard now. I'm not going to say the word. I'm going to say a synonym of the word. Okay. So, for example, if I say, um, if I say, for example, um, it's hard to think of synonyms sometimes. Shopping. You could find me groceries. Grocery okay? store. Yeah, or grocery store. Okay, so it's synonyms now. Much more difficult. All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. This is hard now. His view. View. V I E W. A view. Like, what is your view on politics? Perspective. Yeah, who found me? That very, very nice. Okay, microphone off, please. That was excellent, though. Excellent. Okay. Well done. Okay, next one. Um, spontaneous purchasing. Spontaneous purchasing. Five, four, three, two, one. Spontaneous purchasing. Mm, difficult. Come on, guys. Oh, nearly. No. Spontaneous purchasing. Five. Impulse buying. Hey, nice one. The person who said impulse buying. Impulse nice. Well buying. found. Okay. <laughs> one more. Shopping mode. Okay. Um, suggested. Suggested. Propose. Yeah. Offering. Good man. Suge um, offered wouldn't be too bad as well. Not bad. Okay. Last. Last one. Last one. So these really, a lot of these are not really synonyms, okay? They're, they're similar words. Strictly speaking, a, synonyms are very hard to, to find. You know what I mean? Because usually these two words, they have slightly different meaning. Otherwise, why, why have them, right? So I just, just want to make that clear. I, I'm calling these synonyms, but, but there, it's a bit more loose. Last one. This word means um, a new way of doing something. A new way of doing something. A new way of doing something that's more efficient. Might bring a thorough revolution to the community. Nope. Good innovation. Try. It's innovation, remember? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Well done. So this is just a quick game to get you warmed up. And you've, you've had a chance to maybe look at the text a little bit. But now what I want us to do is to start to um, look at the, the question types. Okay. So... Let's, let's move this away and let's look at the first five questions. Mm -hmm. All right. So my first question to you is this. What type, what question type is this? I know matching. many of you, anyone know? Matching? No, no, no. Yeah, not, matching type. What do we think? It's some kind of matching, isn't it? But it's not matching headings. Matching headings. Is it matching headings, guys? Yes or no? No. It's not because there's no headings. So 
So it's matching something else. Can anyone tell me? Matching paragraph. Mm, not bad. Now this is where, right? This is why we need to study this document and use it as regularly as possible. Okay. So you guys can now see my document here. What type? What type of question are we looking at? It's not short answer, is it? Oops. It's not mm. sentence completion. No. It's not summary. It's some kind of matching question, isn't it? It's a matching one. Let's find the matching. Ah, here we go. Look, there's three types. It's not matching heading. Is it this one or this one, guys? What do you think? Top or bottom? I think it's this one. Do we all agree? Matching information. Yeah, I think it's matching information. So, so now we have the, the strategy to use, the step-by-step -step thing to go through, all right? Now, when you, get re when you start to learn this, you, don't, you probably don't need to learn all of these. Just, you just need to learn the ones you find most difficult, okay? So let's learn this one now. So what is step one, please, Ian? What do we need to do? Uh, we should uh, read the questions, think about synonyms or how to paraphrase the statement. Okay, so let's do that, guys. Let's all do it together, right? So I'm going to share my screen with you back to the old one. Um, so we need to read the question and we need to think about paraphrasing and synonyms. So let's, let's just read it now, guys. Which paragraph contains the following information? Let's quickly think about synonyms, guys. And paraphrasing. What, can anyone think of a good synonym for the for this word here? Layout. Blueprint. Blueprint. Not bad. Anything else? Strategy. I mean, it's not exactly right, though. Remember, blue, a blueprint is actually the kind of the thing that the architect makes, right? So it's a uh -huh. piece of paper. But I mean, it might help you to look if you see that to just quickly read that. Anything else, guys? Structure. Arrangement. Arrangement. Arrangement, I like. Structure. Structure. Any, anything else? Like a map. <laughs> uh, some kind of map. I like that. I like that better than blueprint. Organization, even, right? Design. Okay. Design. Okay. Ergonomics. So these are the kinds of words that we're going to search for. All right. Now, um, there's, another, there's one thing I want to point out before we do this question. And it's this. Is this the best word? Is this the, is this, we would call this a key word, wouldn't we? Teachers usually say this is a key word and you search in the text for a, the key word. Is that the best key word or should I do this one as well? Or should I, should I do this one? Oops. What makes a good keyword? I'll get rid of this. What makes a good keyword, guys? You should all know this. Hmm. How do I know which word to search for? Surely someone can tell me. This word, okay, let me help you. This word is a bad word to search for. Why? Search for. Why is, why is the word store a bad word to look for in the text? It's a bad There's keyword. There's too many store. There's too many, aren't there? Too many. Look, it's yeah. everywhere. It's in the title. It's here. It's here. It's here here right it's here there's too many it's not going to help you so what makes a good keyword actually layout is a very good word to choose why why is that good it's specific it's specific good i would say it's something like it's 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 original right or it's specific let's put this into more normal language it there are not many, very many, there are probably not very many repetitions, right? 
of this word. And that's a key thing. Sorry, I know I've spelt that wrong. But that's a key thing we need to focus on when, we, when we're searching for key words. Don't choose something where it's going to be everywhere in the text. Choose something that's specific, something that's original, something where there's not a lot of repetition. Okay, let's just ignore this. All right, so I'm going to just demo this one with you. Can we, can we all please try and skim and scan? Or scan, sorry, for the word for a synonym of layout. So design, organization, structure. Can anyone find me a synonym? I'm doing it as well. Is there nothing here? Should we move down? I'm going to give you some more paragraphs now. You can look in here. Can anyone see a good synonym? Oh, I can see the synonym. I newly okay. designed. <laughs> yeah, well there. done. So we've gone from layout to newly designed. So it, it's helped us, right? Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then, obviously, we read this part of the text. What do we do next? Well, let, let's go back to the strategy, shall we? Okay. So the strategy says, one moment. Read the questions. Think about synonyms, how to paraphrase the statements. Skim the whole reading text for the general meaning of the text. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I got a little bit carried away. We didn't do that, did we? What does skim mean? Can anyone tell me? Skim. Um, a quick uh, review. Reading quickly. It's, it's like a general, general um, read. You're not looking for specific information. You're just going, okay, what's this about? Now we already did this, didn't we, at the start when we played our game? I, I asked yes. Ian. I said, what's this about, Ian? And we talked about what the meaning of the text. So we did that one already. We've done this. We've done this. Read the question statements again and predict which paragraph contains the answer. Ooh, we didn't do this, did we? But that's probably a bet. That would have been a better idea. We we missed this step. Okay, we jumped straight to this one. We scanned for synonyms here. Okay, what's this la last step? Can someone read this, Sophia? Check back. Sophia, can you just read that last step? Oh, she's not there. I think she has to go. She said she had to go. Uh, Joyce, could you just read the last step? Check back with. Um, check back with the question statement and mark the answer if correct. If not, move on to other paragraphs. Okay, so we missed step step three, guys. That was my fault. Step two, we kind of did as a class. All right, but this is how. The point of this class is that you need to move through, learn these steps, right, and move through them. All right. So let's just quickly go and see what the answer is for that. And then I'm going to move on to the second part of this, this class. So can anyone tell me? Um, well, we know what the answer is, don't we? It's C, right? C. Do you all agree? Let's just, should we just double check that? Is it talking about layout? Is, yes. Is it, yep. Can someone else give me some more key words here? How do we know it's talking about layout? How many different Divided areas? Divided the stores in Divided three different areas. Yeah. Three different so that's like layout, isn't it? Yeah, good. So we, we're definitely sure that it's C. Okay. Now, guys, if you want to practice this reading yourself, okay, um, we can't really do this in class because you, you, you cannot see the whole text. So I cannot let you finish this. But if you want to do it yourself, all right, you can go to my study document and click this link. And you can do it later. OK. Uh, you will need to register with these guys before they will let you use their materials. OK. But it is free. So that was the question type one. It was finding. What was it? Finding. Keyword. Does anyone remember? Finding information. It was information, right? So. 
when you watch this video again, guys, please use my study documents, right? Download this here and use this document. Learn the strategies for each question type. Um, now, we said we'd do another one, didn't we? What was the other one yes. that we said we would do? Well, the one we're going to do next is this. Have a look at this. Questions six to ten. Who can tell me what type of question this is? Fill in the blank. Hmm? Fill in the... Fill in the blanks. <laughs> fill in the blanks. Okay. So let's quickly look at the strategy for filling in the blanks. On my document, that will be... Summary completion. Summary completion. Yes. Now. Here we go. Let's just double check that that's, there's nothing else. Sentence completion, short answer questions, summary completion, multiple choice, multiple choice information. I'm pretty sure it's that's the one. So many. To, yeah. OK. Some, is it a summary completion, though? Because is this a summary of the text? Let's just quickly check, guys. All right. So is this, is this a summary of the text? What do we think? I'm going to ask someone to answer this specifically. Uh, John, is this a summary of the text? Where? Is this question here a summary of the text? Because remember, in the exam, it's not going to t necessarily tell you. You need to think. No, no. We're not sure, are we? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's the, the summary of the text because it uh, says uh, it, parents' first job. Yeah, and it, there's no other type. So maybe I need to change this slightly, right? Um, I agree, John. It is a kind of summary. Okay. Yeah. So let's go through these, this strategy here. John, can you read this first thing? Check if you should get the words from the reading text or a list. Okay, so where are we going to get our words from? Can anyone tell me? Where are the words coming from? From the um, sentence given. From the, it's on the, the page, from the... Passage. Right, and what, what does passage mean? From the, the text. The text. Paragraph. Okay, so we know we're getting the words here. Sometimes in IELTS, the words will be down below. And, you know, sometimes you get very stressed in the exam and you, you miss them. Sometimes they'll be <laughs> here, right? So very important not just to check. Oh, where am I getting the words from? Okay, next point in our, in our strategy. Let's check it out. We're going to... What are we doing next, please? John, could you read that as well? Uh, scheme the summary and try to understand the overall meaning. Okay, so we, we kind of have um, a summary here. So let's do that, guys. Let's read the questions quickly and just get the general sense of the overall meaning. Okay, so parents' sort of job was, was as in a... Okay. In um, parents store people who... So we'll just read this, guys, and think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another area so was called... All right, so what's this doing here? What's, what's it talking about? Joyce um, or Shahani? Um, mostly it's talking about um, Clarence Sanders' job. It's mostly talking about Clarence yeah, Sanders, how, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. And is it uh, future, present, or past? Past. Um, yeah, past. it's basically past stuff to do with his past. storm. Okay, yes. good. So we've done we've done step two. Let's try step three. Read before you read the text. Predict answers. Think about the word forms. Ah, interesting. We need to try and predict the answers. So who can try and predict this answer for me here? Who can predict this one? We'll just mm. do we'll do like three. Tashir. 
Um, clerk. It, it could be cashier. It could be clerk. I like that. Good. Anything else? Cashier, clerk, manager, maybe. It wouldn't be his first job, though, would it? Maybe a helper. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Janitor. Good, janitor. <laughs> Good. In Clarence Sonner store, people should pay for goods in the what? Let's predict. In the what? In the... Stop. In the shop. In the shop. In the cashier oh. section. In the cashier section. Good. Anything else? Okay. Number eight. Customers would be under surveillance when shopping in the what? Grocery. Like Gro grocery. It has to be a noun. It has to be a noun. Grocery store. Yeah, grocery store. Okay, microphones off, please, guys. Someone's just got a little bit of noise. Um, Joyce. Customer mm. be under surveillance shopping in the uh, in the area. Area, right? Mm. So we get. Um, this is what they want you to do next. They want you to try to predict these. Well done, guys. You can all do these steps. Quite easy. Next, let's have a look. So before you read, predict the answers about the words. If you have a list of words, guess to, well, we don't, we don't have this. We don't have a list of words. All right, don't have that one. Scan the text for synonyms to locate which part of the reading text the summary relates to. Ah, okay. So we need to do this now, guys. All right. Scan the text. Oops. For synonyms to locate which part of the reading text the summary relates to. So similar to what we did before. Okay. And again, it's difficult for me to do this in a class because you, you're going to see the whole text here. But let's try. Clarence Saunders' first job was at. Maybe it's here. Can anyone see it? We need to search for some key words. What's the key word here we're searching for? First job. This, right? Good, because it's original, right? We don't want to search for grocery store, right? And we don't want to search for Clarence Sanders because these are everywhere in the text. So can anyone tell me where is first job? Can anyone see it? First job. A clerk. A clerk in a grocery a clerk store. In a grocery Me. store. In the yeah. second paragraph. Mm -hmm. Second yeah. paragraph. Boom. Right. So we know that the answer is clerk. Good. Right. Oh, well, let's just check the steps. OK, so there's some more steps. Let's just see if we're OK with this. So we scan the text to read synonyms. So we've done this one. Oops. One second, we did this. Read closely, choose the correct answer. OK. Oh, here's an interesting thing. Check your sentence is grammatically correct. That's a good piece of advice, right? So let's just double check. If I put clerks, is that correct? No. No. What do I need to put? Clerk. As clerk. a clerk. As is a. that correct? Just clerk. What is a. Uh, a. Uh, as a. a clerk. A, a clerk. A clerk. So you see. Thank you very much. So you see this strategy list that I'm using today, it's, um, it has some really good tips on there, all right? Now, um, this is really just a class to introduce everything today, all right? So I think what I'm gonna do is just quickly finish the class by showing you one more thing, okay? What are these on my document? Can anyone tell me? Instructions. It's kind of. Tips. These are tips. All right. <laughs> this document, I didn't make this document. This document was made by about 10 different teachers who are my friends, right? So there's many, many teachers working together to try and find the best strategies for each question. All right. You're not going to learn this in two, three weeks. You, you need to study this for maybe a month or something like that. Um, for some people, who's good at reading here? <laughs> who's going to say yes? <laughs> Would anyone think that, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm not, not bad at reading, IELTS reading? 
me. <laughs> okay, Shahani. So for someone like you, where maybe you think oh, it's, it's something else, I need to practice writing. Reading is not my problem. Yeah. You don't need to learn all this. Mm -hmm. You just need to learn the ones that you find the most difficult. All right. Yes. So do you have a type that you don't find very easy here? Um, what about this? Um, Everyone struggles with this. Everyone true, hates these. True, false, and that given. <laughs> yeah, okay. That one. Yeah. So someone like Shahani, like she doesn't need to do all of these. She just needs to choose the ones that she thinks are her, her, her most difficult types. Practice them. So ident find, find practice tests. Identify those types of questions. Practice step one here, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Um, I want to say thank you very much, guys, for attending the class. Um, I'll give you just uh, people who are still here. You will be able to get this document um, on our website. However, I will also give you a quick link in the chat box. All right. So there, there is a link on the chat box. Maybe you're a busy nurse. You've got to go on a shift or something. You can have a link to that document there. So everyone, if you can just download that. If you don't manage to download it on the chat box, don't worry. It's available on the website. If you have problems with the website, you can always email me. You can always Skype me. All right. Now, some of you are new. So tomorrow, I just want to explain to you what, what will happen. Paul's grammar class will happen as usual. But can anyone tell me what happens next? What do we do on Wednesdays? Super session. Super session. It's called super session, which is basically a writing mock test. All right. Yes. Um, now, people who are on the Worthing Project, you get four of these. So yes. you could, if you want to try one today, tomorrow, sorry, come in, check it out. Um, you've got four until your exam. Okay. That's right. <laughs> um, so it would be nice to see you. Paul will be doing it. Thanks very much for attending, guys, and uh, I'll say goodbye. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, sir. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.